So, who wants to hear about the Disney Sea? So, um, for those who don't know, I will try not to go too deep into this, but a dark temptation is rising to do it. See, originally I wasn't going to cover uh, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, and I actually was going to wait to see if anyone's actually interested in it. I have now noticed I only spent an hour talking about this. So, originally I wasn't going to cover C today, but since I only have been on for an hour and a half. All right, all right, 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 right. Ooh, hydrate, stretch, posture, all that shit. Ooh, crack my wrist. Originally, I wasn't going to cover the Society of Explorers Adventures, but seeing how short the stream is, I'm going to do it. Originally, I was going to jokingly say, hey, I need this many subs because I'm going to need the money for the subs to pay for the caffeina caffeination and the whiskey that's going to help me deal with this deep dive. But we're not going to do a deep dive. We're going to try not to do a deep dive. Cut to me two hours later, still in the deep dive. Um... So we're going to now explain the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. So, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers are a secret society that aren't so fucking secret. They are a Disney so a society that was made in Disney. Are you slipping? You guys going to share your caffeinated beverages with me? So, ah. So here's a fun thing. Uh, the Society originally, no, I'm going deep. We're going deep, people. Get ready. So, the Society of Explorers and Adventures was originally a thing that was started in Tokyo Disney in Tokyo Disney Sea, which is like a think of it like Epcot, I think. It's a park, but it's a separate park. Sea, S E A, Sea Society of Explorers and Adventures. <gasps> so their whole theming around it was that. So basically, it is a society of people who explore, adventure, go on mad. I was joking about the subs, people. That was a joke. Didn't mean please sub bomb me. Anyway, thank you Zephyr for giving for giving up for giving subs too. And giving uh, giving subs too. Fiend uh, King Necros. Okay, Monokuma says Yuki twenty five. Uh, sorry, Hayuki twenty five oh two and Twisted Clowns. Hey, because what the fuck? Anyway, so. When it comes to society, the Society of Explorers Ventures, which was a whole thing that was invented purely for Disney Sea, I will talk about which was at, at Fort Fort something. What is it again? Hold on. Fort at Fortress Explorations. That's where it started with, which is again at Tokyo Disney Sea. Um, it started there, and then it grew from there, and it's also majorly a part of Tokyo. It's also part of Hong Kong Disney with Mystic Manor, with Mr. Henry, with Henry Mystic over here. By the way, go away, Alfred, you stupid monkey. This <laughs> is a small tip to my trip to Disneyland Paris. Thank you. You have bought me one seat. Um, so, uh, it tempered there, and then it grew even further. <laughs> I shit you not. The sea thing grew further. It's actually mentioned now in the main parks in America possibly in Paris, and I definitely know it's mentioned in the fucking cruise liners. Yeah, di this thing is also touching the Disney cruise line. Yes, Disney has a cruise line. No, I've not been on it. It's mainly for, mainly for families. So I, a person who has no family, would not be welcome there. Also, they kind of sort of force you to freaking do f activities together, I think, and I'm not one of those big fans of cruises that force you to do activities. <coughs> is Nara Disney going... Nara Disney is not going to be on the test for it is not an original Disney thing. It is a park that basically was a was basically a one to nearly a one to one recreation of the original Disney parks because it was originally supposed to be the original Tokyo Disney, but that got abandoned. But the guy who created it basically did it on his own, and now it's an abandoned theme park. And I think now it's a parking lot. No, that will not be on the test. That is not part of the lore. C C. So Disney C. Society of Explorer and Adventurers. I'm going to be calling them the C a lot because it's a lot easier to say than Society of Explorer and Adventurers. Um, the C, basically the whole purpose of the C, which I did, did I mention that it basically touches the Disney Cruise? I mentioned to mention the Disney Cruise. I'm doing shit off the top of my dome while under-caffeinated and over -sugared. Um, Speaking of sugar, help. I've been eating these candies. They're addicting. So not only does... 
see the Society of Explorers Adventures cover. Okay, I'll give you an idea of what it covers according to the park attractions on the original on the OG Disney on the Disney Wiki. I have it there so I can get names and dates right, and I haven't done either of that. So, it is part of Fortress Explorations in Disney Sea, Tower of Terror in Disney Sea. Mentioned retroactively, I will cover that later. Mystic Manor, which is in Hong Kong. Misadventure Falls, which is a which is a water park ride at at Typhoon Lagoon. I will not be talking about the lore of Typhoon Lagoon. Actually, I can explore the lore of Typhoon Lagoon easily. It's a lagoon. A typhoon happened. It was a beautiful lagoon. A typhoon happened, which basically stuck a tree a ship through a tree. Or was it a mountain? One of those things. That's Typhoon Lagoon. It is a water park on Disney property. I have never been. I have been. No, wait. I have been. But I haven't been on that. So in front of Typhoon Lagoon, there's also a mini golf. And I've been to the mini golf. I've also been to the mini golf in front of Blizzard Beach. Um, which is a, another water park on Disney property. Um, it is also part of the Jungle Cruise. Yes, all the Jungle Cruises. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yes, all the Big Thunder Mountain Railroads. Soarin' Fantastic Flight, which is in California. And also... A thing called Jungle Cru River Cruise, Curse of the Emerald Trinity, which is a special Halloween-only event in Tokyo Disney. Okay? Okay, can, can, can I get... Also, they forgot one. They forgot the freaking over the hangar restaurant in downtown Disney, which is actually a cute little homage because personally, and I'll explain that later, which actually is a cute little homage because fun fact, the Society of Explorers and Adventures were inspired by this lovely thing in downtown Disney, now Disney Springs, which was called the Adventurers Club, which is a club that was part of Pleasure Island, which was part of the downtown Di of downtown Disney. It no longer exists because they turned it into more family friendly and made it Disney Springs. <laughs> because uh, so Pleasure Island was basically the adult zone, if you will, for Disney people. Basically, if you were an adult and you liked Disney and you wanted to take a break from a bunch of fucking kids screaming, you hung out there. There were a shit ton of clubs. There was the event. There was like discos. Clubs, bars, it was pretty cool. I was too young to go, because <laughs> this was in the fucking 80s. <laughs> I wasn't hatched yet. It was still around until the mid to the 90s. Was too young to go there, and my mo I remember once going there. It's a Pleasure Island is a reference to the island on uh, in Pinocchio. It's not that kind of pleasure, you pervert. Which apparently there is lore to that section of the universe, which basically Pleasure Island is an island owned by a man known as Meriwether Pleasure. I shit you not. They put so much fucking deep lore. Oh, by, uh, by the way, uh, if you want more information about this, by the way, it's either Defunct Land or Yesterworld that covers, like, the deep lore. Excuse me. Of, uh, Pleasure Island, by the way. No, it's called Pleasure Island. It's not called Paradise Island. It's called Pleasure Island. I checked my notes three times for this punk mog. Don't make me check them again. <laughs> um, which is right. Which again, the 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 I, I shit you not. The dance clubs had themes, right? And the themes had lore. Like there's one that basically they're the if I remember correctly, it's not a techno club. It's kind of a techno. Club. It was electro music. Electronica music. And they basically had an explanation for, due to the fascination of Meriwether Pleasure's fascination of electricity. I shit you not, there is some deep ass lore and I don't want to cover, and we're not covering it. If you want me to cover it, I will send you guys some wonderful video links to Yesterworld and Defunct Land, as well as Offhand Disney, which cover the Meriwether Pleasure a lot better than I will. So Meriwether Pleasure, who invented the Adventures Club, which was the ins which basically was the inspiration for Tokyo for Disney Sea, the Society of Explorers Adventures. Is everyone with me so far? Please raise your hand. I'm hydrating. <sighs> I did that all in one breath. I really need to breathe, redeem. Uh, yes, Kingdom Hearts most likely changed the name because Kingdom Hearts, remember, is a game for children. Okay, does anyone have any questions so far? No. Good. <laughs> Sit back, relax, enjoy the fucking insanity. Um, so. <clears throat> when. Hello, Mizuki Napier. Someone give a shout out to Mizuki if my mods are in here. Mod truck. Um, so, Meriwether Pleasure. Pleasure Island. Uh, there was a club called the Adventurers Club, which was awesome. It was an improv group, and there was food, and apparently the food was good, and again, I was too young to go, because you had to be at least 21 to be a part of it, and I thought I was so young. 
But I've seen video of it and it looks like a fun time and it looks like a thing I would actually go to as an adult now. Disney, bring it back. Seriously, you'll make a shit ton of money if you bring that back at Disney Springs. The clubs suck. Give us this. Okay, see you, Twisted Clowns. Oh, tell Ira I said hi. I might be raiding them later. Anyway, where was I? Meriwether Pleasure. Um, so, the Adventurers Club, which was this fun little thing, and uh, it was this fun little adorable thing, which basically became the base root inspiration for uh, Society of Explorer Adventurers, which was used in, Dis- which was used in Tokyo Disney Sea, which is awesome, in my personal opinion, that they basically recycled, which Disney is known for recycling things, especially their animatronics, which has led to some animatronics downfall. America Sings animatronics are used for Splash Mountain. Those things were not meant for water. Oh my god, they have been destroyed so many times. Just saying. Why am I this close to the microphone? Who is enjoying ASMR time? No one? Good. <laughs> anyway. So. Uh, Disney Sea. The whole... P- Could have worded that so it doesn't sound... Worded that better so it doesn't sound rude. No. <laughs> I... Oh, 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 you were talking to Twisted Clowns. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. I'm not mad about that. Iroh deserves a lot of support. Iroh's slowly getting back to streaming. Uh, so C is dedicated to the continuation and exploration of the world's oceans and exotic lands. They're supposed to go off to exotic lands, find the treasure, and allegedly give it back to the people according to the stupid rules of the Tokyo Sea. You're supposed to give it back to the locals. (laughs) Funny. Give it to the locals so the locals can deserve it. Again, I think that's kind of funny knowing how they're based off of Victorian explorers and we know how the English were, aren't we, folks? Fuck you, Victorians, for ruining Egypt. Anyway. Uh, as I was saying, uh, they're supposed to get back to the, the treasures back to the locals and also share the advent- share their adventures and stories to the people at the, to the people at their meetings. The sea meetings. So think like Illuminati plus Victorian exploration minus the stealing shit and giving but but plus giving it back to the locals which they apparently hammer in pretty harshly in the rules i'll cover that later um it's actually a very harsh rule to be pushed in and apparently also i think there might be also collections to give to museums maybe possibly i haven't checked her recently and the whole purpose of the sea was to do that <clears throat> uh, one of the founding members was henry mystic from mystic manor which he basically turned his home into a museum which was a Great thing, according to the Tokyo Sea. Other well-known members of this... Harrison Hightower III, who is actually one of the worst members. Oh, sorry. Uh, so Meriwether Adam... Meriwether Pleasure is also one of the original... Ma- is also one of the me- members, which is also a nod to Pleasure Island, like I mentioned earlier. There is also Harrison Hightower III. He is a former member of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, for he was corrupt. You might be wondering... Cat, why was he corrupt? Well, you remember that rule I said about giving back to the locals? <laughs> he didn't do that. <laughs> he was basically classic English explorer, takey mine. Uh, uh, he is basically the reason for the Tower of Terror in Tokyo Sea. Now, everyone's going, but Cat, the Tower of Terror is based off of a off of a Twilight Zone episode. Yes, but only the one in California is now. The one in uh. Sorry, the one in Florida is based off the Tower of Terror episode, and I love that. And I hope it never changes, but it most likely will change sooner or later. Who knows? Eh. And the one in uh, California is based off of Guardians of the Galaxy. The one in Tokyo Disney Sea is based off of a story, because Twi- Twilight Zone ain't really a thing there. <laughs> Obviously. So they decided to make it a story about a man who basically... Um, <clears throat> Stole a sacred artifact, which was cursed. Um, he's cursed now, and basically anyone who un- basically one day Henry uh, Hightower goes into the goes into his elevator to go up to his room on the top floor in the penthouse suite, and he disappears. Anyone who goes onto that elevator will be cursed to go through his same fate. AKA, congratulations! This is how you're basically stuck on this ride now. Uh, <laughs> it's a cute little bit of lore. It's cute. It's small. It's tiny. It's implied. I am not reading the name of this fucking idol because I feel like I will offend somewhere in the universe. Uh, so he's part of the Tower of Terror in Tokyo Seas, as well as a couple of higher ways, the Skipper Canteen. Oh, I forgot about the Skipper Canteen. But he's, Skipper Canteen is also a mention of a lot of the Disney Sea stuff. How dare they not put that shit in there? Um, on the wiki. Um, so that's his thing. There's Henry Mystic, like I mentioned. Uh, hold on. 
Barnabas T. Bullion. So you remember how I mentioned a while ago that the Thunder Mountain Railroad is a part of the to is also a part of the, uh, a part of the conspiracy. If we're we're gonna call it a fucking conspiracy. Previous video I mentioned this. Uh, previous video. That's for the lo That's for the vlog. Um. So Henry B. Barbos, who actually his portrait looks like one of the one of the current Disney Imagineers, and it makes me laugh. Uh, oh yes, it's inspired by Tony Baxter. Baxter. Ha ha. Um, Tony Baxter. <laughs> guy it's not tony baxter tony baxter's the name of the guy who actually makes the rides um barnabas t bullion 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 he's the reason why thunder mountain railroad exists he's basically the one who sponsors and get is basically running big thunder mountain railroad the giant roller coaster that can really get rid of kidney stones real well fun fact that ride can get rid of kidney stones Best if you sit in the back if you want to get rid of some kidney stones. Anyone have kidney stones and happens to have a ticket passed to Disney? Congratulations! I've just saved you a bunch of money on medical bills. <laughs> just in the back, just in the back row of the Thunder Mountain Railroad. Goodbye, kidney stones. By like seventy percent. Sorry, chance of kidney stone removal is 70 percent. It's not a hundred percent, but it still will save you money on medical bills. <laughs> if you already have the fucking passed it, by the way, might as well be a medical bill. Um, so that's a thing. He's basically the guy who makes the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, the gold mining company, etc., etc., and also may have also been the reason why the bad thing happened. Um, there's also Albert Falls, whom I love dearly. Do you want to know why I love Albert Falls? He's the guy who's in charge of the Jungle Cruise. Basically, his whole purpose is to send trade back and forth through the Jungle Cruise, through this one little river, because... Trade wasn't being able to be sent from one end of this thing to the other end, and he found this river, Jungle Cruise, blah, 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 who cares? We're not going into the deep fucking lore. We're just going into the lore in general. If you want deep shit, we're gonna have to make me do a shit ton more research, and or I'm just gonna direct you to some videos that I enjoy. I could have just watched those videos, but I feel like really horrible if I just watched some random ass videos on stream and let, not, I'm not commentating on them. Um, so, Albert Falls <laughs> is basically one of my favorite ones only for this reason this reason only um i love the jungle cruise because the jungle the, the, the whole the sea itself is basically shit ton of puns and jungle cruise is also shit ton of puns if you know my humor you know i like a good pun and one of the pun the thing with albert what there albert falls is he discovered <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because it's hilarious so the part of the jungle cruise ride is you go behind a waterfall right and the thing is, this is Albert Fall. This is this is this waterfall named after Albert Falls, and basically his great discovery. You go behind the waterfall and goes, there it is, the backside of water. <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes, and actually one of my first clips I ever have is me quoting that. <laughs> Somewhere, don't look for it. So Albert Falls, who's basically the guy who invented the Jungle Cruise, and basically is a way to help navigate remote rock was basically to navigate the remote waters of the rivers of the world and his sense of humor. That's what he was known for, hence the backside of water joke. He's also referenced in the Trader Sam's and the Enchanted Tiki, Enchanted Tiki Bar, which is this lovely little bar that I have never been to because I'm broke as fuck. There is also Mary Oceaneer, who is part of the who is also part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. <coughs> she is the character of the Oceaneer Labs on the Disney Cruise Line. Remember how I said this was also connected to the Disney Cruise Line? Yeah, she's the thing. Basically, there is a thing in the Disney Cruise Line, which is for kids. It's for kids. It's educational for the kids, and I love that. And it's all run by Mary Oceaneer. That's her. I don't have a picture of her. I did not plan for pictures. I just planned to just talk about this shit. And I wish I had my Live 2D model still, because you would see how much my head bobbles when I talk. Oh, it's funny. Um, Mary Oceaneer, who, again... Uh... She's part of the edutainment part of the Disney Cruise Line, which basically is, hey, kids, have some education. Learn about the ocean. Have fun. <laughs> Learn about the ocean as well as sailing and boating stuff. Have fun. Poof. You kids have fun. Uh, Mommy and Daddy are going to go drink a bunch of alcohol. Let's be perfectly honest. We know that's the reason why that thing is there. <laughs> Someone's going to come in who represents the Disney Cruise Line and get very mad at me. Uh, there's also, and these are two characters I don't know about since I last learned about Disney Sea. Which is, um, there's Camilla Falco, who apparently is, like, a flying lady who's at the Soaring Fantastic Flight at Tokyo Disney Sea. I know nothing about her. Basically, she does flying. That's all I know. She flies, and she has a falcon. Ah! 
And, um, now we're going to go into the crazy part of the conspiracy. Okay, welcome. You know how I said there was a conspiracy? Well, there's a lot of conspiracy with Tokyo Sea. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, the Society of Explorer Adventures. So one of the big conspiracies is, um, so one of the members of, and it is canon, Jock, Lin Jock Lindsay. Now, y'all might not know who Jock Lindsay is. Anyone here happen to be a fan of Indiana Jones? Raise your paw, your foot, your appendage. I don't care. So, um, Jock Lindsay was the freelance pilot and is apparently canonly a member of Tokyo Sea. I'm uh, sorry, uh, Disney, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Okay, raise his nub. Uh, raise no, we are not going to be talking about the film that was illegally filmed at Disneyland because I've actually don't give a shit about that film. Okay, good. So, Jack Lindsay, the pilot in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Congratulations, he's a member of Tokyo. He's a member of Disney. Of, uh, is a member of the Society of Explorer Adventures. And there is another member of the Society of Explorer Adventures, a very well-known one, pretty famous. You might know him. You might know him pretty well. Jones is a part of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Hello, Codex of Memory. Welcome to the la welcome to the learning. So, Ohio James. Yes, <laughs> yes, Ohio James. Indiana Jones is a member of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. There is a, and this is confirmed, at a restaurant at Disney Springs. I have. Not been in there myself personally, but I have seen footage and filming and pictures of it. Fun fact, there are a lot of restaurants on Disney property themed around the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. And it's actually kind of pretty cool because you see a bunch of cool Easter eggs and shit. And I want to go, but I can't go because I'm broke and I'm disabled. Um, Indiana Jones isn't owned by Universal. Indiana Jones has always been owned by Disney. Well, definitely owned by Disney now. Let's just say that. No, Indiana Jones isn't Universal. Indiana Jones has been owned by yeah i know i thought it was owned by universal no indiana jones is technically a disney property uh because indy remember there's also the indiana jones ride in mg and uh at m in um in california there's also an indiana jones stunt show at m at uh hollywood studios so it's technically disney property well remember um survivor um disney did a deal with george lucas george lucas made indiana jones i think i think i don't remember oh god my brain is broken who made indiana jones so yeah so that's what i'm assuming i don't know i have so much fucking knowledge in my head i have numbers ah. so yeah indiana jones is a member of society explorer adventures not only that he's the reason why a member got kicked out because he called out the corrupt bullshit of uh fudge He called out uh, a member of Indiana. <laughs> he um called out like a member of the Society of Explorer Adventures, who basically was corrupt, similar to Harrison Hightower. But he's basic. But this one is basically, I think, might have been Henry. It could have been Harrison Hightower himself. Or it could have been the one that's part of the Jungle Cruise Curse of the Emerald Trinity. Because Jungle Cruise Curse of the Emerald Trinity, like I mentioned, is a Tokyo-exclusive Halloween event. Which basically they turned a Jungle Cruise ride even more darker than normal. He called out me. So, um, I can't remember. But I know Indiana Jones is actually the reason why a certain member got kicked out of the Society of Explorers Adventurers. And I think even he himself left. But his dad might also still be a member. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So, and the Emerald Eye thing is basically... It's interesting. I've never been on it, and I don't speak Japanese. Dang it, I really need to learn Japanese. I can't believe I'm rereading re a wiki article to make sure I'm right. Ah! Found it! Found Jones's connection! So, there was a person known as... There was an archaeologist known as Professor Garrett Reed, rival of Indiana Jones who was booted out of the Society of Explorers Adventure by Lord Henry Mystic for his unsavory tactics and it was very immoral and shit like that. But they worked with it, but they, you know, they were rivals with each other. So, ha! 
I love how everyone's pointing out the facts of Indiana Jones because my brain is so full of other important information right now. Basically, the uh, Jungle Cruise gets uh, reskinned for a Halloween creepy cuckoo thing, which involves uh, which involves the emeralds and immortality. And pfft, who cares? <laughs> it's an interesting ride. Don't get me wrong, but it's like we're not. That's not the focus. We're focusing on the sea right now. Uh, there are other members too of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Uh, there are other, uh, there's other references to Society Explorers Adventures. Hell, um, the Jungle Cruise movie, which I really need to actually freaking watch, has Jungle, Cru has references to the Society of Explorers and Adventures, and it could be possible that Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character, not actual Dwayne The Rock Johnson, of course, but his character might also be a member, maybe. Oh, yours is doing that too right now? It's slowly turning into that. Um, so, uh, sorry, I'm scratching an itch on my neck. So, yeah, the C was basically originally a, uh, fuck, I really suck at explanation videos when I don't plan my shit. Um, so the Society of Explorers Adventures was an inspiration from a funny little club in a no longer thing, no longer used thing at de what was formerly Downtown Disney. And it's a fun thing. Also, uh, members of the Explore the Society of Explorers Adventures. I've already mentioned a few of the official ones. Also, there was Jason Carter, who basically was part of Thunder Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. He's actually in a comic. I have to read it. There's also a couple other characters who, while do not have a ride associated with a ride or form of media associated with them, they are shown as mem shown in Mystic Manor as members of the society. So therefore, they are members. They just have Mystic Manor. They just have portraits, and they're like, these are the men. And, you know, in the ride of Mystic Manor, they're going, these are the members of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, and blah, blah, blah. Um, there's also a let, uh, there's also, um, I, I would like to also point out, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers have a shit ton, and I repeat, a shit ton of puns. I keep snorting at a few of these. You know, uh, there there's also members who are unconfirmed, aka the people who were uh, Captain Bree, Frank Wolf. These were people who were from the, uh, which are people from the Jungle Cruise movie who have references to C but are not confirmed yet. Um. There's also Madame Vidalia on Un Aninsky Zarkov. Oh fuck, this was in the nine this was made in the nineties. Um which is a reference to the Adventurers Club, obviously. Also, um apparently uh Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse are also members of the society. Blink blink. Blonk blonk. And if you think about it in the big brain way. All the rides that are not connected to an actual Disney Disney movie IP are all connected because since Society of Explorers Adventures were um, mentioned in not only the Jungle Cruise and all these other rides, they were mentioned in Mystic Manor, which is also technically which Mystic Manor, and also apparently the brother of one of uh, one of the members, I think it's Bullion. He was the former. He was one of the husbands of uh, Constance Hatchaway. You know, from earlier video, the chick, one of the five husbands that got his head off. Um, he was the... No, no, it was someone Hightower, I think. No, Hightower! Hightower, he's the brother of Hightower, who basically got his head off. So that means that there's a connection to the Haunted Mansion even further, which means that Haunted Mansion, Fires of the Ca Haunted Mansion, uh, Haunted Mansion, uh, Thunder Mountain Railroad, Big uh, Thunder Mountain Railroad, da-da-da-da, all these rides... <laughs> yes, the society is corrupt because the mouse is in it. Allegedly, the mouse is in it. It could have just been a funny little Easter egg. It could not actually be the mouse is a part of it. Um, the only reason why people don't know if the mouse is actually a member, because it's unconfirmed, by the way. This is unconfirmed about Mickey Mouse being a member. Because there's a portrait of Mickey Mouse. Uh, sorry, there's a picture of Mickey Mouse's passport, and it has the Society of Explorer Adventurers crest on it. <clears throat> yes, there's a crest. And so people assume that he is associated with it. No confirmation yet again um 
Oh god, this is so much information. My brain is frying. So, not only is the Society of Explorers Adventures mentioned on all these rides, people from those rides are on Haunted Mansion, which means that means the Haunted Mansion is also part of the universe. This is a park. This is the un- This is the extended universe of the Disney park rides, and it hurts. Now, anyone want to ask me how I can incorporate freaking Pirates of the Caribbean? Because I can fucking do that, too. I hate that I can do this. Um, apparently... No confirmation, by the way. There is a theory. Scratchy, 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 sorry. There was a thing on my mic and it was annoying me. Um, so, back in the Haunted Mansion country, apparently the original Haunted Mansion was also going to have some form of connection to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in California. And there was a character known as, and their connection was going to be this character known as Jean Lafitte, who is an actual real world pirate if you didn't know that. Or at least he's mentioned often. And if you happen to be watching uh, offhand Disney's videos, he mispronounces it every fucking time. It is Jean Lafitte. It's not that fucking hard. He goes Jean Lafitte or Jean Lafitte or Jean Lafitte. He does it like 20,000 other ways. It's pronounced Jean Lafitte. Please, learn your French. Um, and that was apparently supposed to be connected to Haunted Mansion as well, but they kind of nixed that. But there's like some micro references in there, like Easter eggs. So I don't really count them as full on references. They're like just a little Easter eggs. Um, is you know, it's kind of like how there's a cute little, um, plushie of Jack, of Jack Skellington in the attic scene when it's not the Halloween, when it's not the Christmas time, because it's like a reference. Um, so Pirates of the Caribbean could also be connected to Disney Sea, possibly, because there was like this one theory that was floating around that possibly during the Pirates of the Caribbean there was a pseudo Disney Sea before it became the official Disney Sea and that was around, which timeline wise could add up, could not add up. My brain hurts. I need a cookie. Oh God. Does anyone have any questions? Preferably, Cat, do you need whiskey? Answer, yes. Oh, there's so much information about Disney Park Lord. It hurts my brain. Ah, uh, fun, fun fact. Fun, fun fact. Pirates of the Caribbean is a good ride. That's a good fact. Welcome to the Disney Magic Kingdom Park Lore videos. My brain hurts. Cat, do you need two shots of whiskey, please? Two shots of whiskey and a whole can of Coke. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> There is a lot. And again, I am skimming. I am not going into the deep, 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 deep shit. Because one, I have to actually plan that shit better. I am, ba- I will admit, I am kind of doing the thing I used to do in high school, which is uh, pull shit out of my ass last minute. <laughs> hey, I got an A last time I did this. Um, so, yes, remove that. Thank you. Um, so, again, I am not deep. Yeah, since much of it wasn't involved in the explanation. Dang it. So, uh, like I said, I did not go deep into this lore. I could go deep one day. No. No, I won't. No, I won't. My my brain will fry. Because if I did go deep, I'll turn it off in Disney and go insane. Um, But if anyone actually would like some recommendations to some videos who actually go a lot deeper than I do, I'm just skimming. I'd like to point this out. I'm skimming and paraphrasing and trying to just be short, sweet, and to the point. We're only at two hours? Jesus Christ on a pogo stick. My throat's killing me. Um. So, since I was just short, sweet, and to the point, and I really didn't, you know, go into massive, massive detail, I just did, like, details here and there, uh, do not expect this, t- <laughs> do not expect deep lore. If you would like to have some, like, deep lore explanations of Haunted Mansion, as well as the Society of Explorer Adventures, may I highly recommend a wonderful YouTuber known as Offhand Disney. Offhand Disney. One word. Uh, his stuff is very good. This is where I had, it. this is what I watched to get my refresher course back up. And apparently there's a couple of new videos out about, Dis- about the Society of Explorers. Ad- oh, that's heard on my mic. Oop, I am so sorry. I was stimming. Um, there's actually a couple of things about the Society of Explorers Adventurers that is new. Apparently, I just recently found this out, aka, uh, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse is not, it is a, it's gonna be called the Swiss Family Robinson Adventurers House, and apparently there's some references to the Disney Sea, at least in the, uh, concept art. So, there might be some shit in there. Might be some more new lore. I also know that I think it's Shanghai Disney. I think it's Shanghai Disney that has their version of Disney Sea, but it actually includes a few canon characters from Disney and or just it's a bunch of puns I have not checked. Um, <sighs> stretch and posture and hydrate. Buddy, hydrating is not going to help me. Well, 
I just drank a quarter of a fucking bottle. Anyway. So, if you want some good stuff offhand Disney, if you want some even better stuff when it comes to the Pleasure Island itself, and learn the lore of Pleasure Island, which was a teeny tiny place where a bunch of clubs for a bunch of adults to go and hang out at, um, I think it's either Yesterworld or Defunct Land. It's one of those two. Both of the, the, all three of these creators are people I highly recommend for anyone who wants to learn some deep lore shit. Hell, Defunct Land did a two hour presentation about the fast pass system, and it was actually very interesting, in my personal opinion. If you ever just need some back backlog audio to listen to while you need to work on something and not actually fully focus on something, I highly recommend Defunct Land. Defunct Land covers a shit ton of old parks, theme park stuff that isn't around anymore. Uh, he does coverings of both Universal as well as Disney, unlike offhand Disney who just gets a little snap, who likes to get a little snippety when it comes to Universal stuff, which always annoys me. But, uh, uh, Defunct Land covers, like, Universal, Disney, covered other parks. Heck, he did a Christmas special talking about about Santa Village parks. And, like, the rise and fall of them and how, how he pointed out there was a small trend. Which was very, actually, interesting in my personal opinion. Uh, Yesterworld is also very good. Um, again, if you want some good quality content. I know I've only been streaming for two hours, and that is relatively short for me. I know it's relatively short for me. But I am fucking tired. My throat hurts. I've just done a full-on presentation about Haunted Mansion, which is a thing I love dearly to the close of my heart. And I would love to do some more Haunted Mansion content. I want to make some Haunted Mansion content, to be perfectly honest. But I don't know what I can make, because everyone does everything. Uh, oh, also, fun fact. I actually recreated this wallpaper in my Animal Crossing house. Yeah, I'm that level of crazy. I love the Haunted Mansion. I love it dearly. And also, I did some coverage of Disney Sea, which my coverage was, like, very bare-bones basics. <sighs> I should rest my throat. I'm starting to sound like I smoke 20 packs a day. Um, let me get figure out what to do with you guys. Uh, thank you all, by the way, for watching me do these sets of videos. Who knows if anyone's going to watch these on YouTube. I'd love it if you guys will, when this gets posted up, to watch it on YouTube as well. Even though you were here live, maybe you'll get to see stuff that you might have missed. Or, you know, listen to me blather on. Please do. I need some views on YouTube. <laughs> um, take care of myself or else, of course, survive. So let me figure out who to take you off to.